Hey guys, Big Anthony here. It is Thursday, April 1st, 2021. I uh, just posting or in the process of posting a video on the Jackery Explorer 1000 right here, solar generator, uh, power station, whatever you want to call it. Uh, right now it's meeting or exceeding my needs on what I thought I needed it for. The main reason, and I, as I said in the video in the last several videos that I posted on it, uh, that uh, I wanted it to be able to run my van refrigerator, which is a Dometic CFX40. It runs on both 12 volt or AC. I had it on the 12 volt. And I still have it on the Jackery right now. This is the third day and the battery's at 65%. It's been flawless. I've been driving the van. I've been using it and uh, the battery's working. I haven't charged it with solar, with the 12 volt in the van, nothing. It's running straight off of a full charge right off the battery, running the refrigerator, keeping the refrigerator between 27 and 30 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm super happy with that. And um, I plan on testing a couple of other items like a hot plate here um, and this Proctor Silex uh, tea maker or water maker for boiling water. And if I could boil water electrically through the battery, Without having to light my stove, I'll be elated uh, because I could boil up enough water, save it in a thermos, use it for my needs right there, save some of it for later, do some thermos cooking, etc. And uh, I'll be super happy if I could do that without having to light the gas stove. But why am I doing all these videos and testing with the Jackery? Because after what I saw back in what happened in Texas with the power outage and the grid down scenario and how people suffered that weren't prepared, or maybe some people were moderately prepared, but their, their gear wasn't, it didn't meet the need that it needed to meet to last as long as they would need in that particular uh, outage. So what I did was I assessed and remember preppers and people like myself are always assessing. You should always be, assessing your needs and if this happens for this long and it's this bad can my existing gear like the goal zero 400 the yeti 400 and the yeti 150 that i have and my van system can that get me through and so when i looked at that i said you know what i could probably squeak by for a couple of days but longer term i need something with a little bit more power uh, a little bit more features, some more upgraded features, which this has in it, this Jackery has in it. And so I opted for uh, spending the money, the $1,000 or whatever it was, to get this unit. So now I have it. I'm testing it. I'm learning what it runs and what it can do. So when stuff comes my way, I'll be ready to handle it. And I think this should handle my needs uh, better than what I had before. So super happy with it so far um and uh would definitely recommend it although i haven't done a full review on it right now from what i've seen what it does and what it can do for the van uh between running some lights uh some you know, the refrigerator running some of these hot plates and these things here if it could do that i'm happy with it because i could top it off with solar or top it off while i drive top it off with a generator or top it off in the AC wall outlet. Many ways to recharge it. So why am I doing that? I'm doing this because A, to be better prepared and, and B, because of what I'm seeing and what I have seen over the last year with the pandemic, with the, with the, with the, with went on during the election cycle season, I won't mention too much about it because I know how sensitive YouTube is about this. And from what I'm seeing from the current administration that's in there and what's happening in this country with the border situation, the economic situation, which is tied into banking and investing and gold and silver and everything that's going on around this country and around the world, I'm getting a little leery about the structure and the fabric that's holding this country together. And so I want to make sure that I could at least 
I'm, I'm hedging my bets on some of the preps that I'm making and putting into place that it's going to help me when that, um, when that veneer gets peeled off and it's peeling off now. It has been for a year. The veneer is peeling from the country and we're going to see people's uh, true colors soon, I think. So that is the underlying undertone reason. Other than having a good system for camping and, you know, survival or going off grid or whatever it is, that is all tied in to what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Okay. That's so, if, does that make sense, guys? Because if it doesn't, send me, feel free to comment and let me know um, that if you're caught in a situation where no one's coming for a while, to give you aid or assistance, uh, use your current time very, very wisely. My advice to you. Use your money wisely, any stimulus that you may have gotten, received wisely, don't blow it on stupid stuff, on toys, on devil worshiping sneakers, on big screen TVs, you know, things that you, you probably have enough of already. Why do you need an 80 inch TV when you already have a 50 inch? I mean, come on, you, TV's TV at the end of the day. You need to get information off of it. Don't blow your money, food, water, security, stuff like this, um, off grid items, um, investments, wise investments gold and silver, tangible things that you own, land, pay at, pay down bills, get out of debt, things like that. That's why I'm doing all that I'm doing. And you see what how my channel is going more in line with right now. Rather than talk about the everyday issues that are going on, which there are many and which I will address, um showing you some of the behind the scenes stuff that I'm personally doing to bring up my preps to another level in different, <clears throat> in, excuse me, in different categories. So look at the category of prepping that you're doing, whatever that is, if it's food, water, shelter, um, security, investing, look at each layer, medical, look at each layer, assess it, say, okay, I'm I think I'm pretty good here right now with this section, but I'm pretty lacking with solar generators or battery backup or, you know, off grid type things. I need to beef that up and then put resources into that. Once that's beefed up, now you look at your next line of weakness, constantly assess your weak points. It's what I did when I competed and trained in bodybuilding. Look at your weak points. You got a strength, keep it that way. Keep your strength strong, but look up your weak points and bring up your weak points to meet the need that you have. So when you walk on stage, your weak point now becomes a strong point and it doesn't hurt you. So that's the same thing I'm doing in prepping, looking at weak spots, holes in my prepping, things that may be lacking and I'm beefing it up and getting the that section up to snuff. And so when the veneer peels off and these crazy people start roving and doing things that ordinarily you may not see, uh, you're able to uh, either get away from that, stay home, not go out in it, uh, or defend yourself in it. If you have to, and you can only do that when you assess your, your current situation and you beef it up and you put the thought into it, the planning into it, and then the action. Okay. It takes action. It takes dedication and it takes sacrifice and it takes work, work, dedication, sacrifice. You've got to work at prepping. You've got to work at getting better. You got to work at thinking things through and forecasting. Now, what's it going to be? What's April going to bring? What's May and June going to bring with this current cycle of things that are going on in the country? 
because the cycle that's going on right now, a month, two months, three months down the road, we could be living in a, a Venezuelan type society that quick. That's how bad it is right now, I believe. But there's many people that are in denial. They've done their research and they think that uh, things are great. Okay, that's fine with me. You can think how you want to think. Don't come running to me when the SHIT hits the fan. That's my video. Anthony, signing off. Take care. Stay ready.